Hey, <laughs> what's up guys? Jesus here. Welcome back to Okami for the Wii. In the last episode, we gained the power of rejuvenation, which is one of the 13 brush techniques. If you don't get what I'm saying there, then you probably haven't seen the last episode, so you should go do that. I'll put a link for it down in the description for you. Right now, we're gonna try and get the star stuffs flowing, so we can maybe get across this river of souls. Seeing as how we've got the brush power now. Making the bridge. That is the shittiest bridge in the world. Good enough for the game, though. Oh yeah, I was drawing water. Make more water. <laughs> Make the whole place water. BAM! Look at all that fucking water. Alright. Yeah! Oh, I didn't make enough water on the side there. Whatever. There's enough to get me across. Yeah! Oh, what? Okay, good, I can still draw. There we go. What the fuck? Just scribble all over the fucking place until I can get up there. There we go. <laughs> See, that worked. Boom! What's in here? I got an astral pouch. Look what I found! Don't fucking call me Furball. I'll bite you in the face. The Astro Pouch can swallow up lots of food, then when it's full it can revive the owner if he or she dies. Start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Alright, so cool. It's like a uh, continue. Only you gotta... It's like a savings account combined with a continue. Like, you put into this account, and if you put enough money in, or points, or food, or what have you... Hey, there's a apple. If you die, then... I got a peach! It's juicy and fragrant. If I fill the astral pouch enough, then I'll be able to... Ooh, an orange! If I could get in all sorts of different fruits, I could keep talking. The astral pouch will fill up eventually after eating all these foods and it will restore my life if I die. So that's pretty cool. Now where am I? I'm still in this ethereal place. I haven't even, like, started the game yet. I'm still working on fucking getting the village put back together and shit. What? What is that? Can I, like... No, I can't do that yet. Too early. I gotta go up here first. I don't think I can... Oh, wait! I can run, I think. Hells yeah! Come on! Go! Keep going! Woo! We're going now. Oh. Oh shit. Is this. Is this the legendary shrine? It must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil 100 years ago with the help of the white wolf Shirame. First the river of the heavens and now this place? Where the heck are we for. Stop fucking calling me that, soon. Or I'm gonna start calling you a fucking bug. See how you like that? See? Sword's in really bad shape. Well, we're well, gonna have to do something about the sword then, aren't we? Oh, shit, I gave myself away and I didn't even fix the fucking thing because I don't have it framed right. 
در داره Oh, I have to stand right in front of it? Okay, that works much better. Mm -hmm. Shut up. I accidentally let go of the button. There we go. Fixed it. I am the mother. Ogokami. Oh shit, another constellation? Well... Boop. <laughs> Looks like a marmot. Oh shit! Nice sword, bro. <laughs> it's like barely as big as the handle. The fuck, Tachigami? It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword as it was designed to conquer evil. For real? Oh, what, is it just gonna be like a technique? I'm pretty sure it is. Tachigamu, master of the power slash technique. Then you just like that Shiranui. The wolf. When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into 13 brush gods. It's crazy. Shiranui and Nagi, it's just like the legend. Anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. But showing your stuff on that boulder over there. Alright. I really sucked at this the first time I did it. Let's see how well I do this time. Nice. Did pretty good that time. Guess I really overestimated myself. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. Stop calling. Thank you. For correcting yourself. I really appreciate that. That shows personal growth. And I respect you for it. Be soon. If you're Shiranui reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. So he's basically like that dude in fucking Toriko that follows Toriko around because he wants to become a fucking gourmet hunter as well. No, you stopping me. Enough about that. Now you master the power slash. You can cut that thing down. Oh yeah, that, that thingy, the, the fruit thing. I guess we'll just follow the arrow, since the game doesn't think I've got, okay. Oh, okay, I see. Well, you think that's going to stop me, you fools? Whoosh, the fuck out of my way. Oh yeah, the trees you can totally cut down too now. Check this shit out. Whooshing! All the tree, almost all the trees. I didn't get all of them. Woo, what the? Where'd they come from? Draw first, ask questions later. Oh, swing the Wiimote to use its power against. Whoa, dude. Fucking fuck off. Once you've caught them off guard and turn black and white, they're easy to pray for your brush. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a lot better at the battle shit than I was the first time I played this. Like, for some reason, the attacks weren't registering. Like, I could only... Ooh, I got an ink bottle. Bottle of ink. That fills one of my ink pots. Who would have thought? But yeah, it wasn't... It would only let me attack once every, like, 30 seconds. And I thought that was the norm. But no, apparently you can just continue to attack. You can attack time and time again. Fuck you, trees! That was terrible. What? I was gonna say, why can't I cut the trees? Go, Amaterasu! 
Run! Oh shit. We got more enemies. Fuck them. Hey. Hey. Who the fuck do you think you are? Oh shit, see it's doing it again. It's like I can't attack. Ah! No! Fuck you! Shit! See, I can't... Okay. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, well, I killed him, and I got a spiritual thing. Humanity's faith made solid, and it restores my solar energy, so that's cool. Oh, fuck. I can't get him still. Well, he died. I did kill him. Dude, I got, like... Sixteen dollars. Nice. I think the last time I paid attention to my money, I had like four dollars, and that's pretty sweet. All right, let's see if we can get back to. Oh, for fuck's sake! Just gonna fill in the rest of this water. I was too lazy to do it before. Boom. There we go. No. What are you doing? Oh. I guess I missed some water. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Mm. <laughs> That's so much easier. All you gotta do is swing the Wiimote, and then why is it pointing over that way? Oh, there's the things down there. Of course it is. Okay. So this should take us back to the plant, or the tree. And then it should be able to cut the fruit down, and then that'll restore the village. And I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. Yeah. Shing. Why didn't that work? Just try cutting the fruit then, I guess. Man. I didn't even, the drawing didn't even touch the fruit that time, so I don't even know how that worked. But I guess it worked, so whatever. Oh, and life is returning to the land. The village has been restored. I really fucking love this cell shaded art style. I can't say that enough times. It's just gorgeous. I don't know, ever since Beautiful Joe and Wind Waker, I've been a sucker for cell shaded games. Wow, the village been village has been restored. Sakuya came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her kimono, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you perverted little bug. But seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're doing down there. That sounds like a fantastic idea for the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here before it drags the fuck out, and like most of my videos tend to. So tune in for the next episode when we go check on the recently revived village. Till then, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments section. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.